What's up everyone? I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, North Carolina, your source for everything Toyota. Today I've got a head-to-head -head battle. Which one would you choose if you could? 2019 RAV4 Adventure or 2019 RAV4 Limited? Let's compare them. Let's decide the winner. First things first, let's compare the side profiles. Lots and lots of differences. What they both have in common, they both have 19 inch alloy rims. As we get in a little bit closer, we'll see some differences in the over fenders and the wheels. The Adventure has the matte black and silver 19 inch alloy rim, and it has a larger over fender. See how the limited one is gonna be a little bit smaller. That has the chrome 19 inch alloy rim. Same thing as the XLE Premium, but look at the over fender here, the width of it. It's gonna be a lot thicker on the Adventure. That way, if you're going off-roading and brush and sticks rub against your car, it's not gonna hurt it as much. Get an up-close look at the Limited here. The black accent mark, the stripe is going to be glossy, whereas on the Adventure, it's gonna be a matte finish. It's got roof rails. You'll see the difference on the Adventure in just a minute here chrome accented door handles it has the smart key push button start that's how you lock it right there those two parallel lines side turn signal indicator blind spot monitor standard check out our friend adventure up close and personal here we've got raised roof rails i could definitely see a canoe or a kayak or a luggage rack up here the accent stripe is a matte finish. The fuel tank on both of them, on all the trim levels, is 14.5 gallons. Color key door handles. How about that ruby flare pearl, you guys? Smart key, turn signal indicator, blind spot monitor. Which one do you like better from the side? Engine performance, they both have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, 203 horsepower, 184 foot pounds of torque. It's an eight speed automatic transmission. Now, the Limited can be available in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive, whereas the Adventure is only all wheel drive. And with the all wheel drive, you get multi-terrain select, so you can choose to go over different types of terrain and conditions. For example, mud and sand, rock and dirt, snow two areas of improvement i hear from my viewers all the time it would be nice if rav4 came with soundproofing material here underneath the hood and it would be really nice if it came with pneumatic lifts to automatically raise the hood sort of like bread or raising the roof but it has a prop rod here so with the rav4 we take what we can get toyota jeff subscribe today what's up Let's check out the front ends. First of all, Adventure has LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, fog lights. The grill is separated with black horizontal slats. The grill itself is black. It has a reinforced silver bumper here. Then the Limited, it has LED headlights, daytime running lights, integrated fog lights. This has parking sensors on the front so that if you get close to something, it's beep, 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 that type of a thing. Now. The ground clearance, it's 8.6 inches on both vehicles. That's because they have the 19 inch wheels. On the other ones with 17 inch wheels, it's 8.4 inches. Both of these cars have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So there's a radar here by the Toyota symbol. Also a camera facing forward. So that way you can have pre-collision system, lane departure alert, radar cruise control, automatic high beams, and then you get pedestrian detection during the daytime and the nighttime, bicycle detection, road sign assist so it picks up stop signs, yield signs, and speed limit indicators. And then it also has lane tracing assist. Let's look underneath the Limited. Now the tow capacity is 1,500 pounds on the Limited, whether you get front wheel drive or you get all wheel drive. Look at all of the parts underneath are protected all the way down it's really interesting how they did that and then for suspension it's a mcpherson strut with a stabilizer bar in the front and then a wishbone style multi-link rear suspension which kind of gives you the best of the both worlds 
tight, firm suspension, great handling going around turns, but soft suspension on straightaways like highway. And then I'm gonna go underneath the adventure, but from the backside so you can see how everything is also protected all the way down. The tow capacity on adventure is 3,500 pounds. That's the only trim level that has 3,500 pounds. So it's a really a, a great utility vehicle and it has the same suspension as the Limited does. Let's look at differences in the back end. They both have LED tail lights. The benefits here are they last longer, they project brighter, and they also respond faster. So if you're stopping, people behind you know er, you're stopping and they can react faster than if they were just halogen bulbs. Now the Limited, Limited in Chrome here, it has a dark gray accent garnish on the bumper, parking sensors along the back. So as you get close to something, it alerts you, beep, 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 er, that type of a thing. Rear wiper, backup camera here. Now Adventure, the Adventure logo is in black with silver lettering here, has a silver accent garnish in the bumper here. But the real important difference is, let's see which one opens first with the power lift gate. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the Limited is in the front, but the Adventure is coming up fast. We've got a dead heat here. I don't know who won. Cut that scene, cut it, I'm out. Let's look at differences in the cargo area now. They both have the metal tie downs here in all four corners. And then guess what, right over here, there's a pocket with a net, a little light here so that you can see what you're doing back here at nighttime or when you're camping. And then it has the 12 volt circular port so you can plug things in like USB chargers. Also comes with the tonneau cover so that you can hide things when you're on vacation, like a laptop, a book bag, luggage. Now the Adventure, it also has the tonneau cover here, but the main difference is it has the 120 volt wall plug in here so that you can really get down and dirty and crazy when you're camping that type of stuff. Plug in, baby, plug in. I've shown this in a previous video, but I want to show you a little trick here how you can add some extra cargo space here with the floor. You lift it up here, and there are different grooves, so you can set this down under here. And actually, you can give yourself extra storage room here. See how that's lowered down in? Bet Penn and Teller don't know that trick yet. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Oh, hello neighbor. I'm gonna show you legroom and headroom space here. This is with the seat all the way back here. There's still plenty of room. There is a raised hump, we'll call it, down in the floorboard for the third person. You just kind of have to straddle with your feet. Again, plenty of headroom here, plenty of room to chill out. This is with the seat a little bit more forward. There's plenty of legroom space here. You can also adjust your rear seat to be more vertical, but not quite vertical, or you can kind of recline it to chill out a little bit here. This is the seating pattern. It's Softex, two-tone, but I wanted to show you that it's patterned to go along with the more rugged feel of the Adventure. It has orange accents. You can either get the seats in black or this two-tone ash gray orange stitching here. Ch 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 check it out there's one seat pocket here not two and then it has rear air vent standard which i love on the rav4 for this year and then two more usb ports so people don't have to worry about borrowing power and plugging juice from the front limited seating has different pattern it's not so adventurous so rugged it's more classy more luxury with the perforated seats here See those? A nice chunky armrest. That's also in the adventure though. That way people, when they're arm wrestling in the back, they can also be comfortable, but victorious. And it has rear air vents and two USB ports. Here's the leg room from different settings. Both cars are gonna have such a different feel inside. Here's the limited here. No orange accents. Shockingly missing here.
There's the digital rear view mirror. And then here's adventure interior. See the smart storage shelf right here with the orange? That's where you can put your cell phone if you're a passenger, your keys, books, small books, very thin books. You can start to see similarities but also differences between the two inside. Here's the passenger viewpoint. I did want to show you the passenger does not have power driver seat controls. And this is what it looks like in through the outdoor Led Zeppelin. Driver's viewpoint. Again, I'm going to show you up close the pattern soft tech seating here. Power driver seat with lumbar support. Here's the pattern with the orange accents, orange stitching. To get the black interior, it's definitely going to be more of a sporty interior. With the gray, it's definitely more open, more airy feeling. Window controls, lock side mirrors this is the dash brightness automatic high beams the power back door this is a grippy little pocket here you could put change maybe your cell phone that type of things because it's grippy it has tack to it so that things won't roll around as much or shift with the steering wheel controls you can reach just about everything you need to for basic functions without being too distracted and reaching far to the center cluster that type of a thing these controls control your multi-information display. It's a seven inch multi-information display. Notice the red accents because it's an adventure. Let's show you some of these things. There's your all wheel drive indicator. It'll tell you what traction is on what wheels. This is lane tracing assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, road sign assist. And also to do the power back door, you go to vehicle settings, hold this down, and then it pops up a hidden screen power back door, push OK, and then you can turn the power back door on and off. So if your power back door is not working, that's the reason why. And then the other controls here are radar cruise control settings, lane departure alert, AM, FM, Bluetooth, back again. This is your cruise control settings. It's not underneath the steering wheel like it used to be with all Toyotas. It's much easier to use now. So this activates the system and this sets your speed, and then you can tweak it up and down like that. And this goes between your preset stations. Show you the center storage area here. Nice, deep area. It's got two more USB ports, so two in the back, two inside the center storage console, right there. And I'll show you another one in just a minute. It's adventure, so it's gonna have orange accents. Now this is your driving modes and multi-terrain select. So you can set it for, this is downhill assist control by the way, you can set it to rock and dirt, I can move it over to mud and sand, or I can push snow settings, see over there underneath the 20, snow. And then we've got eco mode for better gas mileage, especially in the city, normal driving mode, and then sport for more responsive acceleration. Now this is electronic parking brake, brake hold if you have the door shut, and your seatbelt buckled, you push this, and then when you go to a traffic light, it will actually hold so you can take your foot off at a red light and rest your foot or get that foot cramp out. This is that tacky surface, like that. Another USB port and a um, iPod jack. It's funny to say iPod jack. 12 volt circular port. As an FYI, for your information, Adventure does not come standard with heated front seats. You have to get the upgraded package for that. Dual temperature controls. It's synced right now, but there, now we're at different temps. And then this right here, this is standard Entune Audio Plus. Does not have built-in navigation system, but it does have an eight inch touchscreen with six speakers. It's got Sirius XM, HD radio. You can do Bluetooth commands voice commands, touch screen, it's very, very easy to use. And then you also get access to Toyota's Entune app suite, iHeartRadio, fuel prices, things like that. Up top here, both sides have lighted vanity mirrors. This is the traditional rear view mirror that we're all used to. I'll show you a difference in the limited in just a minute. Sunglass holder, comes with standard 
safety connect so that that way if you're in an accident and the airbags deploy somebody will call you if you don't answer they'll send emergency personnel you can also have this track your car if it gets stolen you can call the center and they will track it now adventure does not come with a moonroof standard on it limited does not have power passenger seat and here's the view so you can see the seating with the beige interior this limited is absolutely beautiful inside she's got smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories now here's power driver seat the pattern the perforated this normally comes with heated seats not ventilated but because this car has the weather package it will have heated and cooled seats now memory seats here no orange accents instead of a tacky surface that's orange this one here is more of a slippery surface and because it has the weather package on it it's going to have rain sensing wipers and also heated steering wheel so those are the differences there leather wrapped steering wheel as well here's the instrument cluster seven inch multi-information display just like the adventure has on it except for you will not see the all-wheel drive indicator unless you get all-wheel drive this one's front wheel drive. So two different USB ports, storage tray, limited, no orange accents, but the beige does have a brown accent to it. You will notice the lack of the multi-information display. If it was all wheel drive, it would have it here. And then this is the more slippery surface, slippery slope here. And then see, it has heated seats and ventilated seats because of the weather package. Otherwise it would just have heated seats. Now this one has the Entune premium audio with dynamic navigation system that updates from the cloud, eight inch touchscreen. And then up here, you'll see the digital rear view mirror. I'll show you that in a minute. What it is, is there's a camera that's inside the back windshield on the back of the car facing outward so that in this mirror here, you can see the entire scope of what's behind you and you don't have people's heads in the back seat or headrests in the way. It's also got the Safety Connect standard and standard moonroof. Little mirror here, it's got some cool features to it. It's got three settings for home link for your garage door openers. And then when I pull this little tab forward, it shows everything that's behind. And if you notice, there are no headrests in the way, no people's heads in the way. I'm going to actually show you behind. We'll open the the back door road trip here's the camera right up here it's inside the windshield facing outward Let's see if we can see it from here I don't know it might be hidden but it's right here right here do a quick demo here That's when you mash up Karate Kid with Star Wars. Here's the limited window sticker here. Blizzard Pearl with beige interior. This one's made in Japan. It can also be made in Canada. When the first initial in the VIN number is a J, that's Japan. When it's a two, that's Canada. Safety ratings, I'm sure they'll be out soon. 30 combined, 26 city, 35 highway. Standard equipment on the left from the factory along with optional equipment on the right. This is what's in the weather package. Anytime you get a pearl paint, you'll see a 395 upcharge. This is optional equipment that was added at the regional port. And then this one has a window sticker of 36,600. And then here's Adventure, all wheel drive standard, Ruby Flare Pearl, Mocha interior, Canada. Notice how I said the VIN would start with a two. I'm right. This one is 28 combined as opposed to 30 combined, 25 city, 33 highway. Standard equipment on the left, that special pearl paint color I told you about right there. And then optional equipment, 
34.6. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, it's kind of small print, but if you wanted to see the specs side by side, here's Adventure and Limited. I try to give you every piece of information I can so you guys can make the best choices possible. If my videos help you, by the way, to either research cars or pick out a car, please write down in the comments section. It's always nice to know that I'm doing good in the world. These are option packages that can be added on both vehicles as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. Write down in the comments section which one you would choose. Look out in the coming days for toyotajeff.com, brand new website. See you next time. Toyota Jeff, subscribe today. Also, ask for Jeff if you're in the North Carolina area looking for a new car. Jeff Teague, Fred Anderson, Toyota.